know that reading is permissible, but it also can be objected to on the floor of the California State Assembly. So on occasion, if you listen to the proceedings on the floor of the California State Assembly, you may hear either a legislator seeking permission to read on the floor, or you might hear a legislator raise a point of order that a colleague is reading on the floor. So what's the basis for either of these two statements? It's Assembly Rule 112. And AR 112 is titled Objection to Reading of Any Paper. It basically says that an assembly member who has been recognized by the presiding officer may object to the reading of any paper before the assembly. Now, if this type of an objection is made, then the presiding officer can make a ruling on that objection. Or the question of reading by an assembly member is determined by a majority vote of the members present and voting. Now, this vote would follow a brief statement by the presiding officer regarding the substance of the objection. And no debate is allowed following this explanatory statement by the presiding officer. Now, as a result of Assembly Rule 112, assembly members generally seek permission from the House to read a document or a statement. And here the presiding officer simply responds by saying, without objection. Meaning, in other words, so long as no one objects to the reading, then the assembly member can read on the floor whatever paper is before them. However, if there is objection to granting unanimous consent to allow the reading of the paper, then it's treated as any other motion, which passes with a majority vote of those present and voting. To be fair, it is a rare occasion if a colleague on the assembly floor would object to another colleague reading of a paper. By the way, there is not an equivalent rule that's contained in the Senate rules, and therefore senators are not limited, uh, there's no objection, and of course, uh, senators do not have to seek permission to read something on the floor of the California State Senate.